I think um, today's job session uh, was a important uh, step in the right direction for the legislature and for the people of Connecticut. I don't think that we had enough bipartisanship, actually, I don't think we had any bipartisanship throughout the entire session uh, this past year. But I think this time on this particular issue, the legislature came together and worked actually together, whereas our caucus was invited in with the uh, governor's uh, staff in the Democrats caucus to work on something that I think is important to everyone, jobs. And so I think this was a very important piece of legislation. Did we get everything we wanted? No, I don't think we did. But I think each side got something that they think is important toward fostering an, an environment that helps uh, economic development and helps small businesses, which create about 70 to 80 percent of the jobs in Connecticut. Prior to the two sides getting together, the two caucuses, there was a lot of emphasis on large corporations, big business. And I think that we uh, brought in some small business incentives, streamlining the permitting process for small businesses, which is a big thing. Um, when you apply for a license, if you're a trade worker, electrician, plumber, uh, HVAC uh, person, you uh, many times will have to wait sometimes uh, two, three, four, five, even six months to get the, to, to even find out if you were approved for your license, which really shouldn't be that way. They're trying to earn a living and they can't do it unless they have their license. And having a, a decision within 30 days of an application is something that is um, very helpful for a small business, blue collar workers in the state. And in my business, we're heating and air conditioning, so we know a lot of those people, and those types of things really do help. I did want to see something a little bit more with the apprentice program, um, allowing more than one apprentice under each uh, registered and licensed contractor, because it's helpful in allowing young people to move through the process quicker to be able to get their license. Um, but that wasn't something that did come through this time. But expanding vocational, the VOHAG uh, schools, training for young people who aren't going to go to college, extremely important. We somehow overlook that in the state when we're always so focused on everyone needs to go to college. Some young people want to be in a trade. They want to be electricians. They want to be um, contractors, uh, uh, engineers, uh, HVAC uh, um, contractors. They don't want to go to college and we should not discourage those young people or mechanics or whatever from doing those types of very good uh, jobs, service jobs that everyone needs and are very good paying jobs.